Hi, I'm Tyler. Welcome to Elevate Ag Services. And I'm Brian. We are the co-founders of Elevate Ag. And this is our yard where we make compost. I've been in agriculture pretty much my whole life. I grew up on a farm and got into the corral cleaning business. I saw customers treating their manure like waste, like a liability, not an asset. So I have been making compost on our little farm for many years and can see it's fantastic benefits and always kind of wondered why aren't more farmers doing this? It seems like a no-brainer. Believe it or not, when Brian and I hooked up, he had the same ideas that should be used instead of just thrown on the field and then put conventional fertilizer on as well. We work with our customers to elevate their owned, generated organic resources into a higher efficacy soil amendment and compost and compost blends for use on their fields. They own the, the resources, they generate it, and we elevate it into a higher efficacy product and we custom tune that compost for X field is low on X nutrients. We can elevate certain resources and, and nutrients. Most of the time they ask us what amendments can we add to their own compost to make it better. Then we provide them with the, with the amendments and incorporate it with their compost as we're turning it and as we're making it. At the end, when it's all said and done, we set it off for a, uh, an analysis and uh, hopefully the, it's the recipe the producer was looking for for his soil. These are some of the samples that we take from our, from our finished compost blends and some of the ingredients. So we'll take these three here, we'll send them off for analysis just in these little Ziploc bags with holes punched in them. This is livestock in here. There's trillions and trillions of microbes in each of these little bags. Compost is one tool in a regenerative farmer's toolbox. It, it is not a, a end-all be-all blank slate solution by any means, but it increases uh, water holding capacity in the soil. It brings life back into the soil, add the microbial life. It increases the nutrient holding capacity in the soil. That in combined with other regenerative farming practices, it builds resilience on their fields, which ultimately impacts the bottom line of the producer. And, and don't get us wrong, conventional Conventional farming, we're never going to eliminate it. We need it to feed the world. But regenerative farming is there to rebuild our soil. I think it's something that's, that's needed. So we are here at, uh, at Elevate Ag Services. That's where it starts. And this, a year later, roughly a year later, this is how it finishes. So this is screened and, uh, and cured finished compost. This is material from one of our local farmers. We know how clean the feedstock is. Just hay and uh, straw and some wood shavings he gets for bed pack, right? So we crawl clean that, Tyler and team crawl clean that. We windrow it here. This is the raw, raw form material. There's different, different consistencies of, of material, but we put that in. We'll blend that material all across the whole row. We'll add in our vermicast extract across the entire row. We'll try to have a, a consistent blend on the entire batch so that that finished compost is consistent as possible. Microbes need just what we all need. They need food, water, oxygen, and shelter. So when the temperature gets up 150, 160 Fahrenheit plus, we'll know we'll need to turn it pretty soon within a couple days, and that will provide oxygen. So they're using up all the oxygen, available oxygen, quickly and that temperature starts to come up. If we don't turn it quickly, then it'll start to go anaerobic a little bit. The first turn to the last turn is around two months, is maybe like six, eight weeks. The temperatures have come down. For the most part, it's, it looks like compost and it'll cure for, we like to see three to six months. Here we have some of our finished blends. This is cured and screened clean material. Right behind us here, is a co-compost biochar. Biochar is a, it's another one of those soil amendments that we can add in on compost that has increases its efficacy. We'll put it in early on stages and all that pore space in biochar provides homes for microbes. And then this material over here is another custom blend for a customer, is two different feedstocks, two different finished composts, just blended together at a 50-50 rate. A good finished compost should smell like the forest floor. If you're going to buy some material from a garden center or something, you want to give it a good smell test and it should smell like a forest floor. Learn from quite a few folks in the industry is uh, you want a finished product that is about the color of 70% cacao chocolate. Seeing the producers when we're done their, their compost and they get an analysis back on it, they're, they're more surprised. They're skeptical. I'm sure everybody's skeptical when they try something new and uh, see that surprise and, and, and a good surprise. That's probably one of the, one of the most rewarding things. And for myself, I like making compost. I'm a compost nerd. It's rewarding. It's, it makes me happy. 